Hey sis, it's been a while. I'm getting married and thought I should let you know. You will be coming to the wedding, right? We are renting a venue on the beach in Hawaii. It's going to be so beautiful. It's a huge venue, so I am inviting all of my friends and family. Lucy, I didn't expect to hear from you. So, you're getting married, huh? Congratulations. Sorry, but I can't come to the wedding. What? Why not? You're my only sister. You have to come. That's great, you are getting married. Sounds like it will be a great wedding, but I'm living in England at the moment. Plane tickets are so expensive from here, and I'm working on a project at work that needs my attention. Surely if you say it is for your sister's wedding, work will understand. And I know you make enough to be able to afford to come. I want you to come and see me in my wedding dress. It just wouldn't be the same without you. I didn't want to get into this, but actually it's not just that. I don't think I could enjoy myself if I came. Surely you know what I'm talking about. Why not? I want both you and mom to be there and give a speech. A speech? You're kidding, right? Do I really have to spell this out to you? You want me to give a speech at your wedding and say thanks for stealing my boyfriend from me? Are you still holding that grudge? I thought you would be over this by now. How could I be over it? Frankly, I'm amazed you would have the audacity to even invite me to the wedding. Not this again. I can't help that your boyfriend and I fell in love. Don't tell me you still have feelings for him. That's so sad, Tess. I was hoping you would be happy for us. I don't have feelings for him. I'm not jealous. This isn't about him. So come to the wedding then. I'm not going because I haven't forgiven you. I told you I never wanted to see you again, didn't I? Even if we are related by blood, there are some things you just can't forgive. This is one of them. I don't care about him anymore. What's done is done. But he did cheat on me, and you did take him from me. I'm not going to waste my life stewing over it, but I don't want to see you guys ever again. See ya. Hold on. Don't you think you're being a little childish? I want you to see me in my dress. It's order made. You would love it. You'd really be missing out on a great wedding. You don't want to regret it. What are you talking about? I don't care about your dress. You just want to rub it all in my face, don't you? Well, maybe just a little. Exactly. And that's why I'm not going. I'm not going all the way to Hawaii just to be humiliated. Come on, it's Hawaii. It will be fun. There will be good food, music, fire dancers. Are you there? Hey! Tess? Tess, come on. You're being overdramatic. Who is this? I think you have the wrong number. Leave me alone. Just because I ended up with your sister doesn't mean you can't come. Come on. It doesn't have to be so awkward. Let's put the past behind us. I thought I blocked you. How are you messaging me? Oh, I made another account and added you. You really want me there that badly? It's your sister's wedding. You know both the bride and the groom well. Don't you think you should go? After everything you two did, you were planning the wedding with my sister while you were still with me. You played me like a fool. It makes me sick just thinking about it. Come on. Are you still in love with me or something? Would you both stop saying that? Let me make it clear to you two. I don't have any feelings for you. Then come to the wedding. Come on, she is your only sister. She really wants you there. She was crying about it, you know. Don't you have any sympathy for her? Did you two have any sympathy for me when you sent me that photo of you guys at Disneyland that time? There is a reason I blocked you, you know. And Lucy knows that I don't want anything to do with her anymore either. Come on, that was like five months ago. We only broke up a year ago! I've just started moving on with my life. I don't need this right now. Anyway, just put all of that aside and come. Be happy for your sister. It's Hawaii, Tess. There will be hundreds of people coming. I'm sure you can have a good time. It would mean a lot to her. Plus, we need more people to come. 
You need more people? The whole thing is costing around 100k. We are spending a lot of money, so want lots of people to come. It's going to be the biggest wedding you have ever seen. And hey, with all the people there, who knows? You might even meet someone new. I'm not interested in meeting anyone. 100k for the wedding? Are you serious? Isn't that a bit too much for you? Is this even working? No, she's just taking care of the house and things at the moment. It's so nice to have someone waiting for me when I get home. She makes dinner every night as well. You were always working and often got home later than I did. That's only because your house was closer to your work. It took me twice as long to get to and from work. Despite that, you never did any of the housework and were always just watching TV when I got home. I'm old-fashioned. I like it when I get home and dinner is ready. Yeah, old-fashioned is right. If that's what you wanted, then you should have moved somewhere closer to my workplace so that I could get home earlier. Not that any of that matters now. This is pointless. I guess. But back to the wedding. I'll send you an invitation, so tell me your address. No thanks. I told you, I'm not going. Don't contact me again. I don't have time for this. Okay, fine. I'll just have to ask your friends or maybe your mom will tell me. I'll make sure you get it, though. Screw off! You have no right! Stay away from my friends and family! I don't want anything to do with you two! Do you hear me, Jim? You had better not send me a stupid invitation! Hey, sis! About tomorrow's wedding. As a family, everyone decided to chip in and pay for the wedding. Why are you acting like I'm going? Did I ever say I was coming? What are you talking about? We sent you an invitation. Yes, Mom did send me an invitation, which I'm sure you made her send. Well, you wouldn't tell us your address. We had no other choice. Also, me and Jim are planning to go to England sometime soon. We can stay with you, right? Have you lost your mind? In what world would I ever even consider allowing you to stay with me? I won't even meet you for lunch. I won't even recommend you a good place to eat lunch by yourselves. Uh, okay. Well, we can talk about that later. But like I was saying about the wedding tomorrow. Stop right there. I said I'm not going. I haven't booked a flight or anything. I actually have another wedding I'm going to. So you can stop wasting both our time. Excuse me? Someone else's wedding is more important than your sister's. A total stranger's wedding is more important to me than yours. That's cruel even for you. Cruel? You're kidding, right? Do I have to keep reminding you of everything you have done? My wedding will be far more extravagant than theirs. It's Hawaii for crying out loud. We sent you an invitation. You have a duty to come to my wedding. I never replied. I don't have to do anything. Also, I told you and Jim both that I wouldn't go. You have to come. You got the invitation. If you don't get a reply, you should assume that that person isn't coming. We both want you there. I don't care. I don't want to go to your stupid wedding. I'm not going to celebrate your guy's future together. Well then, you can at least send us some money to help pay for the wedding. Are you blind? Have you understood nothing I have been saying to you? There is no way I'm going to send you any money when I don't approve of the wedding. But I am your sister! I have no intention of supporting your wedding in any way. So don't ask ever again. I had some friends suddenly cancel. We need to fill seats otherwise food will go to waste. Also, we spent more than we originally planned and need help paying for things. Why our dancers aren't cheap, you know? Wow. So that's why you want me to come. Just so I can fill a seat and give you money? Give me a break. It's been really hard planning this wedding. It's not easy to find people last minute that can come. I've tried everyone. The wedding is tomorrow. How could you not see this coming? Come on. Send some money to help your sister. You don't want me to start my new life in debt, do you? You're single, right? You must have plenty of money to spare. How can you let your sister go into debt? I'm sure everyone else in the family will be happy to help. That's what family does. 
I can't believe you are planning to take money from everyone in our family to fund your wedding. Don't you have any shame? What are you thinking? I sent out letters asking for 3k from everyone. But if you could send me 5k, that would be great. Are you so sure the family will support you? Hmm? What do you mean? There's you, mom and dad and other relatives too. If everyone sends a bit, we will be fine. Maybe you and Jim have forgotten, but we were introduced to each other by one of dad's cousins. Everyone knows that you stole him from me and probably doesn't think too highly of either of you. That's all in the past. Dad's cousin came in person to apologize to me for setting me up with him. Do you not realize that from the moment you two went and started seeing each other behind my back, you lost all trust and support from our family? How could you think you would have anyone's support? Still, I'm getting married. That's all in the past now. They should all be happy for me. I bet your friends that suddenly canceled never planned to come either. You just assumed that everyone you sent an invitation to would show up. That's so like you. Then when you contacted them the day before the wedding, they all said they weren't coming. Don't expect me to feel sorry for you. How did you know that? Because a lot of the old friends you have are also friends of mine. We went to all the same schools, remember? We are only one year apart. Of course, we share some of the same friend groups. Back in elementary school, we were always together. I liked having a sister back then. Lots of those friends we shared know about what you did to me. You never left Bridgeton, so you don't have a lot of friends from other places to invite. Am I wrong? So what? It's a small town. Rumors spread fast. How could you not have thought about that before you did what you did? There's no way most people will come to your wedding. People in small towns don't forget so easily. Oh no. So you're saying everyone is against me? No one RSVP'd because of stupid rumors. People know the truth, Lucy. No one wants to come to your wedding and celebrate with someone like you. They can't do that. I have to fill seats. I need their money, too. You shouldn't have assumed that everyone you sent an invitation to would come, especially me. Even now, you are causing me trouble. I'm sick of explaining things to you. Why don't you think for yourself? You're such a pain. Listen up. Our friends and family all know how you stole my boyfriend and were hooking up with him behind my back. Everyone is saying how it's unthinkable to go to your wedding and laughable how you are expecting them to help finance it, too. You don't have nearly as many supporters as you think. Why is everyone making me out to be the villain? Maybe because you are? Everyone is just jealous of my happiness, right? You seem to have gravely misunderstood your standing with everyone. You really don't keep in contact with anyone in our family, do you? There is actually another reason no one will go to your wedding. Not that anyone would have gone to yours anyway, but before anyone got your wedding invitation, they received invitations to another wedding. Another invitation? From who? My wedding should be everyone's top priority. They are expected to come and expected to help support me and my husband by helping pay for the wedding. Tomorrow is our cousin Jake's wedding, so that's not going to happen. Our relatives are all going to his wedding instead. Of course. Huh? Jake is getting married on the same day as me? Yep, that's what I said. You would know this if you actually talked to your family. So me, mom, dad, and everyone else will be at his wedding tomorrow. Not yours. It's cousin Jake on dad's side, so everyone on dad's side of the family definitely won't be able to make it. And I highly doubt mom's relatives will want to fly all the way to Hawaii for your wedding either. Besides, you never really cared about our relatives anyway. When was the last time you spoke to Uncle Paul, or Grandma Sussy, or Cousin Bill? There is no way anyone would want to come to your wedding. No, no. If no one comes, what am I supposed to do? I can't cancel it. The venue was booked six months in advance. Well, I guess you two will have the whole venue to yourselves. Who knows? Maybe it will be romantic. You had better eat your money's worth. <laughs> the wedding is going to cost over 100k. If we don't get any help from family and friends, we can't afford it. I thought it was odd. Jim doesn't make that much a year and you don't even work. There is no way you could afford such a lavish wedding. You planned on taking advantage of everyone's generosity from the start. Please, sis. You have to bring everyone tomorrow. Convince them for me. 
Tell them all how my wedding is more important. Tell them they can even come after Jake's wedding if they want. If they book now, I'm sure there are still some plane tickets available. They just need to come for a little bit. Just long enough to leave some money and gifts. I can't believe I even have to say this. But there is no way I'm doing that, and even if I did, there's no way anyone would go. People aren't going to come to your wedding just so they can give you money. You have no right to demand anything from anyone, either. You can't demand people come to your wedding and celebrate with you. This isn't North Korea. You need to accept that you are not liked and take responsibility for the mess you have made. How can you say that to me? You're my sister. You should be on my side. I'm sick of being your sister. In fact, everyone is sick of being around you after what you did. Even if you grovel and beg, no one is coming to your aid. It's time to grow up and learn to live by yourself. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. I promise I'll change. Just tell me this once. I have emailed you an invoice for your part of the wedding. Please transfer me the money by tomorrow. My part of the wedding? What are you talking about? It's a late cancellation fee. It's the money you owe for not showing up. Because no one came, Jim and I had to pay for everything. Make sure you pay it. You mean Jim had to pay for everything? You don't work, remember? Whatever! We're in huge trouble here! You have become delusional. It's sad to see you like this. I'm not paying for any part of your wedding. Don't talk to me like that! You should have been at my wedding! I spent months planning everything. It took so much time and effort and no one came. It was almost only Jim and I, all alone. What a disaster! Can you imagine how embarrassing it was? You only have yourself to blame. I spent hours getting my hair and makeup done. That all cost money too. This wasn't how I pictured my wedding to be at all. It was a catastrophe. So now you and everyone else who didn't come owe me money for my troubles. I don't owe you anything. I told you over and over that I wasn't going. I told you that even if you didn't come, you could still send money. And I told you to go and screw yourself. You're constantly assuming things will happen the way you want them to, but that isn't how the world works. Not at all. You shouldn't have planned a wedding that would cost you 100k. Money you don't have. My wedding was ruined! You ruined it yourself. Anyway, make sure you pay the money you owe me by tomorrow. Got it? If you're going to be this persistent, maybe I'll just have to get in touch with a lawyer or the police and make sure you leave me alone. Lawyer? Police? You wouldn't really do that, would you? I would. How else would I get a restraining order on you? This has gone way too far. This invoice is a joke. I'm not paying you a cent. I'll talk to a lawyer if that's what I have to do to get you to leave me alone. You can't do that. I'm your sister. Telling me what I have to do and what I can't do? Who do you think you are? It was crazy when you expected me, who you stole my boyfriend off, to come to your wedding, but now you are demanding I give you money? It's not just me. Everyone is sick of your attitude. 3k, 5k, for your mistakes? Are you crazy? Everyone sure thinks you are now. No one is actually going to pay you anything, you know. It's your fault your boyfriend liked me better. And it's your fault that no one came to my wedding. That's it, Lucy. I'm here with Dad and his family right now. They are very angry at what you're trying to do. Huh? You're with Dad and his family now? How come? They came over to London for a holiday. I'm showing them around. A holiday? Yeah, but anyways, it looks like Jim is going to lose his job. So how exactly are you going to pay that 100k? What do you mean Jim is going to lose his job? Huh? Have you forgotten? Uncle John's company does a lot of business with the company Jim works at, but he says that they have decided to change suppliers, so Jim's biggest client will be gone. You really should have thought this through. No, you can't do that. There has to be some kind of law against that. He's just doing it out of spite. Actually, it's his company, so he can choose to do business or not to with anyone he wants. Also, Jim's dad knows about the extortion you have been trying to do, so don't expect any help from his family either. After Jim loses the company's biggest client, I don't expect his boss will want to keep him around. I'm sure Jim has already caught wind of this. Hasn't he told you anything? 
I haven't heard any of this. Oh, really? Sorry to tell you even more bad news, but because of your actions, all your friends no longer want anything to do with you. You and Jim are all alone. I think this goes without saying, but don't expect any help from me or our family either. You have really burned all your bridges, Lucy. What? This can't be happening. I've got to go now. We're all going to see Stonehenge. Don't bother trying to contact me anymore. I'm going to block you. Bye. Wait! I'm sorry! I'll make it up to everyone. I was wrong, okay? Give me another chance. You can have Jim back. How's that? I don't want Jim back. I want you both out of my life. I can't live in debt. I don't know what to do. Please don't go. Please just ask our family if they can give a little bit so I won't be in debt. I'm begging you. Hey, sis? What am I supposed to do? Of course, no one was willing to help Lucy and Jim. They got into huge debt from the wedding they had that no one came to. I went to see a lawyer and the police and got a restraining order put on both of them to keep them out of my life for good. I also blocked both of them for good measure. It looks like they both played with their parents to help them out of the mess they made, but even they had had enough and continued to ignore their pleas for help. They must be desperately trying to pay back all that money by themselves. I can't imagine what their lives must be like. But I'm sure it's nothing like how they imagined. Hey, Amy. I know you said you weren't going to work these past few days. But I didn't know that you quit. Huh? A friend of mine who works at your company told me. He said that you told him you needed to quit because you were busy taking care of my parents. Yes, that's right. Which means that you're a housewife now. Yes, I guess so. What is it suddenly, Clifford? You intend to legion off of my salary, don't you? What? Of course you are! You knew I would stop you from quitting your job if you had told me beforehand. So you did it without telling me. You were planning on telling me after the dust had settled, didn't you? What? But didn't I tell you? Huh? When? I think it was three or four months ago. Your sister who took care of your parents had to move to another town since her husband got a new job. Which meant that no one would be able to take care of your parents since we both had jobs. We needed to hire someone to take care of them for us. But you told me that I should just do it myself to save the money. Well, it was the obvious choice since you already had experience. You even disagreed when I said that I would pay for the nursing service. That's when I told you that I would be forced to quit my job. To which you replied, that's your responsibility. You should think this through carefully. I then told you that I decided to quit my job. And you said, stop telling me everything you do, it's annoying. I even made sure it was okay with you the day before I turned in my letter of resignation. But again, you said basically the same thing, which is why I stopped telling you about what I did. What? That's not what I meant when I said, think this through carefully. I was trying to tell you not to blame your job for not having enough time to take care of my parents. Huh? I meant you need to do both. How am I supposed to take care of your parents while I'm at work? I'm repeating myself, but... No one will be able to do the work your sister did for us while we're at work. You said no when I suggested hiring someone to do it for us. Even when I said I would pay for it with my own money. The only remaining option was for me to quit my job. I'm telling you to do both. That's what I meant when I said it's your responsibility. You just conveniently use my words to quit your job. What you're saying is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm not gonna let you become a housewife. Huh? Well, I did think that we would be able to get by with just your salary if we were tight with money. 
you see? That's not what I meant. I wouldn't have quit if I thought I would be able to do both. Huh? I didn't want to quit my job. I didn't want to give up my career. Besides, why are you making me and your sister do all the work in the first place? Isn't it your parents? Huh? How am I the problem here? I have no idea how to take care of them. And there's no way I'll be able to do it once I get home tired from work. But it was the same for me until I quit my job. Wait, why are you getting mad? It's your fault for not being able to do both, isn't it? I'm not to blame for you being so useless. If you've got the time to argue with me, then go and get your job back instead. Then let me hire a nursing service. No, it's a waste of money! Then who's gonna take care of your parents while I'm at work? I told you to do both. That's impossible. If you don't get a job and continue relying on my money for any longer, then we're getting divorced. Huh? You don't want to get divorced and take care of my parents while working. I'm not going to let you be a housewife. Get a job or else. <laughs> get it? Hi, Amy. Is now a good time? Hi, Scarlet. Your parents are asleep right now, so I'm free. I see. I'm sorry you had to do this. It can't be helped. Your husband got a new job, right? But you had to quit your job because of it, right? Um... I got a call from Clifford complaining about you. Complaining? He said that you made having to take care of your parents an excuse to quit your job and leech off of his money. I see. I pretended to agree with him to make him talk, but is it true he refused to let you hire a nursing service? Yes, it's true. When I tell him I'll have no choice but to quit my job, he always replies by saying to do both and not be a parasite. He keeps saying the same nonsense over and over. You should get your job back, Amy. What? Use a nursing service if you have to. Heck, why not even hire a maid? But... You can just have them come while Clifford's away at work. I'll give you some of my money as well. Even if you get caught, just say it was my idea. Well, I can't really just go back to my old company. I'll need to find a new job. My husband will help you with that. What? You see, my parents talked to me about feeling bad about you having to do all the work taking care of them. Your parents? They feel sorry you have to put up with Clifford's behavior. Let's talk about it online in the near future. Without Clifford, obviously. Got it. Yo, Amy, you're finding a job, right? I'm not gonna let you be a parasite or lead you off of my salary. But I already have a job. Huh? I didn't tell you because you get mad when I do, but I found a job I can do from home. What? From home? <laughs> But it still looks like taking care of your parents while working will be difficult. I'm busy with work, so I'm fine if we get divorced. Talk to your sister about what to do with your parents, not me, from now on. What? There's no use threatening me. I'm not gonna nurse my parents. What's this job you're doing from home anyways? There's no way it pays much. That means you're still being a parasite, so... What you're saying isn't even a threat. Hey, Amy. How are things over there? Hello, Scarlet. I've been able to focus on work thanks to the helper who's been coming since yesterday. 
I'm glad you're able to apply the skills you learned at your previous job in your new one. Yeah, thanks to you. I'll tell you this now, but... When I quit my job, I missed the sense of accomplishment I would get after a day's work. But it seems working freelance suits me better, which is why I'm having so much fun now. I'm glad. Now on to business. About my parents. The preparation's finished, so I'm thinking about the end of next month. Understood. I'll get ready for it as well. Yep, I'm counting on you. Oh, one more thing. I've got big news. A friend of mine who works at the same company as Clifford told me that Clifford made a huge mistake three months ago and will be fired at the end of the month after the paperwork's taken care of. What? Seriously? Looks like he didn't tell you. Yup, I just heard of this now. So this is why he didn't want me to quit my job. Amy, what is your meaning of this? What? I just got home, but all the stuff is gone. Even mom and dad aren't here. What is this? Your parents said they sold the house. Well, they sold it. Why? They said that they're going to enter a nursing home. What? They've been talking about it for a while. Your sister took care of it when they told her their decision. They're going to pay for part of it with the money they got by selling the house. Didn't you hear from Scarlet? I wasn't told anything. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I only found out about it recently myself. Your parents talked to Scarlet about it, not me. I thought it wasn't something that I should intervene in. But you should have told me. But don't you always get mad? Fine, just get a job. What? There's no reason for you not to get a job now that you don't have to take care of my parents, right? I'm not gonna let you leech off of my salary. But didn't I tell you I'm working from home? Didn't I tell you to get an actual job? What you're doing is basically the same as being a housewife. I've been able to get a lot of orders thanks to an acquaintance, so my salary is basically the same as before. What? Also, after thinking it through, I decided that I want to get divorced. Huh? I actually hired a nursing service to take care of your parents two months back. What? Didn't I tell you it was a waste of money? Your sister paid for part of it. Like you said, doing both on your own is hard. But you're going to divorce me if I don't, right? I did say that, but... I'm going to get even more busy from now on. But you don't have to take care of my parents anymore. Yes, but it's true that I used a nursing service, so it's fine if you divorce me. But I quit my job! What was that? Something happened and I had to quit my job. If we get divorced now, I'll... Oh, you were intending on leeching off of my salary? Huh? That's what you always say, right? Don't tell me that it's okay if you do it, but not me. Yes, but... Well, you're going to get divorced anyway, so... Wait! No. But... I'm going to turn in the divorce papers now. Amy! That was the day Clifford got fired from work. Obviously, we planned both me and his parents timed it this way. His parents are now receiving great care at a nursing home and are living a peaceful life. They sent me a letter thanking me for taking care of them until now. Clifford, on the other hand, according to a neighbor, he just sits on the porch and stares, not doing anything all day. It doesn't seem that he's looking for another job. 
but I heard from somewhere that he's being sued by his former company. He was taken away by a black van one day, never to be seen again. Apparently, he now works somewhere to pay for the money he owes.